Please rise for a moment of silence. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Nash. I'm Peter Mollenpolly. And I'm Emma O'Toole. And these are your morning announcements for Wednesday, April 5th, 2017. Today is an A day. All new inductees to National Honor Society are to meet in the auditorium during homeroom today. Attention, all juniors. Fall play auditions for next year's fall production of the romantic comedy Almost Maine will take place Tuesday, April 18th, with callbacks set for Thursday, April 20th. All auditions for next year's fall production of Almost Maine will take place in the MPR room off the library. If you are interested in auditioning for the next year's fall play, please see Mr. Truesdale in room 221 to pick up a script and information sheet. Seniors. Senior prom tickets will be on sale this week in the auditorium foyer. To register to purchase prom tickets, please see more information on the NASH homepage. Tickets will be sold from Wednesday, April 5th through Friday, April 7th. See website for exact times. Tickets are $70 per person for prom only and $80 per person for prom and post-prom. Payment will be taken in checks only written out to NASH. After April 7th, students will only be permitted to purchase tickets for the principal's, from the principal's office at a higher cost. Without the proper online registration, you will not be able to purchase a ticket. Please also make sure that all debts, activity fees, and lost books and attentions are served in order to buy your ticket. Again, check out the NASH homepage for more information and the online registration. Senior t-shirts will be on sale in the auditorium foyer during prom ticket sales April 5th through the 7th for $13. Get one before they are gone. Do you like fashion? Do you like free food? Get ready for a night of cultural fun and interesting designs at the 2017 North Allegheny Fashion Club's Fashion Show. This year, the theme is all around the world, so all designers created outfits inspired by different countries. The show will take place this Saturday, April 8th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $10 at the door and free food will be provided after the show. Are you interested in going to see Death of a Salesman, the play by Arthur Miller that won both the Pulitzer Prize for Drama and the Tony Award for Best Play in 1949? Miller's masterpiece is considered one of the greatest plays of the 20th century. We have 25 spots for the student matinee on Wednesday, April 26th from 8.10 to 1.30. Tickets are $18. Stop by goal if you are interested. Tickets are going quickly, and this, and this event is first-come, first-served basis. It's time to start looking for a summer job. If you're a graduating senior who would like to work for the facilities department this summer, please go to the Apply Track on the NASD website to fill out an application under the Seasonal Custodian. This is a 40-hour per week position, paying around $8.25 per hour. The work consists of cleaning furniture, walls, windows, moving furniture out of rooms, etc. Generally, the shift is 7 a.m. to 3.30, Monday through Friday, and can be assigned to any building or possibly an occasional move to another building to help out. From the School Counseling Office, there are several summer programs offered at colleges and universities. Many opportunities are posted outside the Counseling Office. Please check out the posters for summer programs, and if you have any questions, ask your counselors. Scholarships reminder. There are always new scholarships posted on Naviance. Many local scholarship applications have specific instructions and deadlines. 
please read the submission instructions carefully on the Naviance posting. Deadline dates are final. Be considerate and give your counselors ample time to complete their part before the deadline date. Good luck to all the applicants this year. Looking for a summer job? Be sure to check out the Job Opportunity Board right outside the counseling office. New opportunities are posted every week. In sports, last night track and field swept away Seneca Valley in both boys and girls competitions. Boys tennis was trampled by Erie Cathedral Prep in a 5-0 loss. Tonight, boys tennis hopes to take back another win against Mars in a away match at 3.30. Both girls softball and boys baseball are home today. The girls are playing Pine Richland at 4 o'clock and the boys playing Penn Hills at 4 o'clock. Later tonight, boys lacrosse will battle the Pine Richland Rams in a 7.30 home match. If you need to take a look at today's announcements, the video is available at TigerTotemia.org. Past announcements as well as NATV programming are available on YouTube, also via the Tiger Totemia website. A print copy of the announcements is available on the NASH homepage. Have a great day, NASH. Stay beautiful, NASH. Hi, Mr. Greider. Um, we, we have a few questions for you. Um, are the seniors going to get out early this year? Seniors, as always, will get out of school four days before, traditionally before the end of, end of the school year. Um, last year, when the seniors got out, we had Memorial Day, it was the Monday, and then the seniors got out the following four days, a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, so the same procedures will, will follow this year. Seniors will be out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Our final exam schedule is, begin, is planned to begin uh, during the last week of May and it runs over into the first week there in June. So the final exam schedule runs June 1st and 2nd, and then also June 5th. June 5th is the Monday. Makeup day will be on, on that following Tuesday. Uh, but then also unique to this year is seniors will also have to turn in their laptops, and what we'll also do is we'll use that Tuesday for seniors to report down to the Barrel Center and just turn in their laptops and also purchase their, their caption counts for commencement. Okay, thank you very much. What is the limit on the dress code for Nash? The limit as far as what our expectations are. Generally with, with dress code, what we uh, like to see from our students is that students are covered um, from midsection, from hands length up until up into the shoulders um, without skin exposed somewhere in between. Um, we like students to, to dress with respect and what we recognize that when, uh, no matter where you are, um, if you're dressed uh, in a respectful manner, people treat you with respect. Um, so we look for students to come to school so it's not distracting from the educational environment. So we also look for any type of logos or uh, different types of uh, printing on, on shirts or any other pieces of article that are not distracting to the school environment. Some of those things in include drug usage, alcohol usage, sexual innuendo, those types of things that are naturally going to cause an adverse impact on the schoolhouse. Thank you. Is there a limit on the amount of detentions a student can receive? There's not a limit with the number of detentions that a student can receive. Generally, the most that they will receive at any given time would be for unexcused absences, which is one of the things that we've looked at very closely this year. That's actually a, a district initiative that we're undertaking uh, to, to examine attendance for all students. Uh, generally, if a student reports to school, does not report to school, and then follows up and doesn't re uh, provide a, a valid excuse for that absence, then they receive a detention very similar to a class cut to be one detention for every period that's missed. So at any given time, if you miss one full school day that's unexcused absent, that would represent nine detentions at a time. Um, generally, I know our assistant principals, Mr. Buchak and Mr. McGahey, try to work really closely with the students, um, trying to give them deadlines and incentives put in place to, to get their detention served in, in a short period of time. Are there any plans for the future regarding new school rules and regulations? Nothing new. No, we don't have any no no new uh, no new changes to the to the code of conduct. Every summer, we take the opportunity to to align our uh, student handbook with the North Allegheny School District board policies. So, if there would be any changes in the school district policies, we would make sure that we align that our our handbook with those policies. Also, with any state law or state code that we have to adhere to as a as a district, um, we would look to to make changes in the in the handbook. And as of now, the the handbook's been reviewed over uh, several years now and refined. 
recently we had a group of students go through and actually take a look at, at some of those school rules in, in one of our social studies classes. Yeah, and I, was, I was in that class. It, it, you guys actually did a really nice job, one, at taking a look at the format of the text and then also um, challenging uh, some of the school rules as far as are they in place, can they be enforced, and those are things that we, that we look for. We want to have a common sense approach to, to, uh, to running a safe building. Thank you very much. Absolutely.